one four, one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sheriff's Ford, North Carolina. Weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Witnessed some impressive feats of strength over the years. Well, the good news is the next one could be mere moments away. The Silent Man has arrived. Dexter Loomis is here. And his opponent, from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis! The faraway stare, the never-changing demeanor. Dexter Loomis is in his opponent's heads before he even enters the ring. of an artist who will paint a picture of his victims before their match. Competitors dread seeing their image painted by Loomis. I wasn't going to say anything, but Loomis painted Saxton earlier today. He did? Wait, can I at least keep the painting? Sure, if you survived. why Braun Strowman is known as a monster among monsters. All he has on his mind at any given moment is destruction, destruction, and more destruction. That is a lot of destruction, Michael. And it is true. Strowman has total disregard for anyone he faces off against. And that'll definitely be the case here tonight, Byron. You can see it in his eyes. Strowman clearly on the warpath. And we know who's in the other corner. Just look into this sicko's eyes. Dexter Loomis is a walking horror movie. And I am incredibly uncomfortable right now. Huh. Think about his opponent's feel, Corey. It might be tough to understand, but Dexter Loomis is a legit competitor in the ring and can go bell to bell with anybody. Close line! The monster among men with a roar to the audience. He catches Braun looking. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. So much torque on the knee and ankle. This, this is just a bit unsettling, isn't it? Guys? Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. He's taking some good hits. The monster among men letting loose some power there. What's the best way to deal with an opponent like Strowman who throws such massive clubbing blows inside the ring. Well, step one is don't get hit, but step two is even trickier, and that's to try to get in close to attack, where it'll be harder for Braun to throw a clean strike. Bottom line, you can't let Strowman control the distancing in the ring, and you're gonna have to take the fight to him at some point. Stop dead in their tracks. Choke slam! No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Braun is on the attack. Lewis has to break out of his calm and gain some urgency. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Reverse chunk slam! Oh, man, he is fired up now. Oh, dear, this doesn't look good. Alley-oop! He thinks he has it. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Run. 
And set right into the corner. Just blasting back with an elbow to the face. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. Counters. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. turns the tables. Ooh, right to the throat. And whipped hard into the corner on the move. Driven down face first. That aggression of Strowman being met in kind. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for some miss. I'm not sure how you get out of the million dollar dream. Well, I guess he just showed us how. He was waiting for him to make his move. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Neck breaker! Loomis sizing him up from the top. Nice backbreaker. Incredible how they were able to get all the lift needed to debilitate the larger opponent. A continuous, and will this be it? Stops the count before it, too. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Oh, and back of the elbow. Lifts him up, down. Like being man. Two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, man. The close of this match is just ahead. This has just been an absolute massacre. Oh, look at the power. Oh. Choke slam. Uh-oh. Going for the ride. Choke slam. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. A diving knee drop. Shoulders down. No, stops the count at two. How? How? Strowman striking fear into the heart of his opponent. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, kick right to the gut. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Carefully placed stop to the arm. And look at this power from the monster of all monsters. Monster slam. Does that finish Lubis? Dexter Loomis takes the loss. This is what happens when you mess with the monster of all monsters. Yeah, you do not want to be on Braun's bad side. Show some respect for the ring general. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter. Six foot four. 
265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. And his opponents, first from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds. The Kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, Big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. Three competitors at odds with each other now look to settle things in this triple threat match. All set for action in this one. We see Guther, Bronson Reed, and J.D. McDonough. Preparation will be key. All three competitors have to come into this match with a game plan. Had to come in with an idea of what it'll take to isolate an opponent. Seated suplex. stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring you want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole across the top row stun gun taking he thinks he has it only one count before the kick out frankly he 
He should have known that wasn't enough. And now JD playing the intimidation game. Oh no, he could be caught here. Bad spot for him. Sleeper hold luck. He's to free himself from the sleeper. He needs to break this submission. Fighting with everything he has. And he gets sent back into the ring. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Oh, God. Face first. He returns to the ring. Tornado DDT. Talk about devastation. Vicious right forearm. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Oh, what a knee strike. Looking for more damage here. Release. He can do it here. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Compromised position here. condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Gets tossed. The Temple's being made a target. Oh, and a double foot stomp. Oh, back elbow. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, look out. Incredible diving clothesline. And it looked like Guther was the one that cringed there. Oof. Tough position to be caught in here. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Ooh He's struggling a bit here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Oh, meet the back. Here he goes for the win. Powers through after two. The end was in sight. saw there. Airway crash neck breaker. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. And now JD playing the intimidation game with his opponent. He's back into the ring. Boys oh, did the Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Placed in the corner. Knife edge chop. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, my goodness. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. And now he may be planning to turn this match into his very own home run derby. Bludgeoning them with that bat. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Quick return to the ring. Oh, jeez. 
He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. And he fights it off. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And there's a takedown. These men are looking battered and bruised. You have to believe the end is near. Bruised, but not broken. This one is going to turn from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Good night. After everything these two men have been through. And he breaks the hold. Continue to get pushed in this match. Terrible predicament for Reed to be in at this stage. And a burst of offense from a battered McDonough. Not everything's gone to plan for JD, but he still has a chance to finish the job. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, disturbing impact. He moves just in time. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh oh. Face first. Oh, what a strike to the back. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Slip, he gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. And an atomic drop. Ooh. Oh, that's a blow to the body. And as this match goes on, Gunther is looking worse for wear. Gunther has to be careful. He's perched up top. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Uh-oh. Re-entering the ring now. Hoist it on him. Sit down, Axe Driver! Will that clinch things for Reed? Right. Here is your winner. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. And you can't get much better than the three men who just laid it all on the line here tonight. Sure, only one of them got the W, but all three of them just made it into the history books. We are about to hear the sinister siren song of Scarlet. It is a tune that has struck fear in the entire WWE Universe. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived. has come to fall and pray.
good time. And make no mistake, AD is also ready for a fight. And their opponent, first representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins! Dawkins has a strong competitive streak going back to his collegiate athletic days. And ready to prove he's a 5 tool player. Dawkins is ready to turn up and start cracking skulls. Here comes Shotzi and the TCB tag taking care of business. women superstars in history when she is quickly growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. in effect for this matchup. In this one, we see Karrion Cross and Scarlett. They've got their hands full across the ring with Angelo Dawkins and Shotzi. There is so much animosity between these two teams. I think the men and the women are really going to give it their all here. Left by the turnbuckles. Tossed a substantial distance. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Jumping clothesline! What agility! And Scarlett counters. Chuck block! Brilliant, right to the back of the knee. Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. Elbow drop right on point. So much damage inflicted. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. Some intimidation tactics from Scarlet. Ooh, elbow strike. Mat slam with some attitude. Oh, the elbow connects. A demoralizing attack on Shotzi there. You can almost feel the intensity coming from Scarlet on that attack. Boom, what a kick. And they're going to end things with a ripcord flatliner. Turned that one around. Takedown, skull first. Oh, and he's smashing the face. These guys have been looking to beat each other up for a while, and now it's their chance. And there's the takedown. And will this be it? And he easily stops the ref's count. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Look at this, deadlifting there. Oh, it into a, a gut wrench suplex, but not done yet. Hold 
holding on for another one. A second gut wrench suplex. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. And just being tossed away there. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Angelo Dawkins with a well-timed shot. All the way down. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Jumping clothesline. What agility. Inverted atomic drop. Not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Boom, slam. With authority. Uh-oh. And a suplex. No way. Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. And she slides her back to the mat. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Strong kick out there. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. Big time knee lift. Wow. Oh, and a forearm smash. Uh-oh. What a hurricanrana. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Bang! Cross with the crowd in the palm of his hand by the looks of things. Channeling his energy here. Knee strike. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Uncorked a big punch. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Sitting there, coming off the rope. Pops. Looking for a little bit of hype. Flying. Frog splash. Give it five stars. Gets him with the counter. Here's a cover. Could be it. A defiant kick out. After one. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Insulting. Right to the face. My God. 